What's going on, guys? Alex Shed here, back with another rule breakdown at Bangtown Muay Thai and MMA. Uh, before you guys get all weird in the comments, my man Sang here, it is no gi, but we are rolling. He is rolling with a belt on because it is fresh off his promotion. Again, the blue belt, and uh, decided to do an extra round with him just to uh, break it in a little bit. Straight away, I let him get on top, and then uh, soon I'll probably try to get on top and try to smash him. Use a little De La Hiva crack down. He tries to step through. Hit kind of like a modified X guard sweep, waiter sweep. Look to get on top straight away. And then, uh, yeah, looking to start passing. Throw the legs by. As he's trying to push away, he extends the arm. I look for the arm, grab a Kimura grip. Try to figure out maybe an arm bar here. Get him to roll through. Maintaining that grip. Yeah, most important thing I think here when you're going for the arm bar is just maintain that Kimura grip because at least you can look for the back. And uh, that's what I did. Managed to stay up on the back. Maintain the position. As we're going through, did I get a cop lock? Try to pull his wrist behind his back, and there we go. Got a tap. It's really hard for you guys to see, but uh, we'll just rewind that real quick, real quick, real quick. It's kind of hard. You may, man, what did he tap from? Um, as we're rolling through here, my left hand, you can't see it. I'm grabbing his wrist, pull his wrist behind his back. Boop. Can you see it? Yeah, I got his wrist behind his back and hit him with a cop lock. Force him to tap. He's laughing, but Sang knows the deal. Give him a little shove, just for good measure, you know. Whoop, try to jump over right to mount. Doesn't really work. He's hip to it. Um, try to maybe give up the omoplata here and try to defend omoplata. I think I'm trying to bait him to go omoplata. No, but instead I just try to knee slice through. And then I'll go omoplata and then defend the omoplata. Yeah. Whoop, <laughs> go ahead, grab the belt. Yeah. He's wearing it, so fuck it. Do what I want. Lick the swing around and take the back. <laughs> Push the hands down. Maintain the back. Swing back for the arm bar. Let's see if I get the finish this time. He's doing a good job stacking me up. I'm trying to roll through. Rolls through again. Yeah, I think maybe I go back to the back again. No, try the arm bar. Like he's doing a good job at defending it. Roll through. Go for the leg cradle. Yes, this is my move. Yeah, I love to do that. When you attack the Kimura and you try to roll, you can set up your legs. You can throw your legs around and end up with a leg cradle. It makes it really tough for them to defend. Um, back on the feet we go. Ooh, he tries to shoot in on me. Gets a nice little double, but I hit a little crotch lock. Um, we can go ahead and slow that down if you want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewind that for a second. You guys can kind of see what happens. Um, I've said this before, I always like to start on the feet because I quite like counter wrestling. So if you see, Sang hits me with a good shot. Um, he's probably expecting me to sprawl, but instead of sprawling, I do concede the position a little bit. But as I do, I'm about to lock my hands and I have what's called a crotch lock. It's kind of hard for you to see, but my right hand is around his thigh. My left hand has got like a tight waist. And as I lock, I use the momentum, kick my legs up in the air, and roll through. Um, little top spin and end up Kind of top side control, maybe start to spin around for a Dars. He gets up well, try to slide, lock it in. Yeah, try to step over, or I smash him down to the mat. Looking to finish the Dars, and he taps. Come on, get up, Sang, get up. Come on. Try to give him a little push again, get right back in his face. Um, just have some fun with my friend. Boom, he tries to shoot in again. Low single, nice little uh, counter you do on a low single. You can just kind of sit your way back, step over. Again, exposing the back. I don't know what's going on. It must have been Kimura arm heavy. Do I look for the leg cradle again? Yeah, there's that same technique. I got the leg cradle and the Kimura. Lazy shot here, made me kind of scramble a bit, ended up on the bottom, but right away, reverse De La Hiva, kiss the dragon, look for the back, but he did a good job getting on top, but as he went to get on top, I looked for the guillotine, but he did a good job scrambling and came out on top of me, so I decided to push over, look for an omoplata, kind of take my time, so I try to finish the omoplata here, a lot of times I try to force him to... Um, to sweep him. I might have grabbed a nice little choke underneath his neck right here. <laughs> yeah, get the finish there.
All right, this time I decided to play on my butt. See what he does. All right, he had a nice little pass. It's a nice little pass I taught him. I just do think it's really cool when uh, my students hit my techniques on me. Um, I think it's awesome. I love it. Yeah, go ahead, grab the face. Try to smother him. He's doing a good job at defending. Whoop. Take the leg out, look for the back, and uh, hit a nice little transition and roll through. And maybe I'll get one more choke just to finish it off nice and strong. Maintain that position. Little face crush under the chin and get another tap. All right. I uh, hope you guys like the content. hope you guys like the video. If you guys think maybe I was being too mean to him, let me know. I think he deserved it. That's my friend saying. And he got a blue belt on that day. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys here at Bang Tao.